So, we are here at this very, very famous, wonderful island of the north of Germany, Sylt is called, and it has a gold cup playing, which is the Berenberg Open Masters Sylt 2022. And we have the enormous pleasure to, to be with some superstars here, which is from Wenhan side, uh, Mr. Jan Eric Frank, who is the voice of Polo. Um, I believe is like the most famous um, commentator and polo professional uh, business guy who knows like everybody in the world kind of he speaks uh, he speaks all languages so he is everywhere he's in the US with the world best polo players like the World Polo League he's in uh, Zilt he's in Berlin he's wherever in Germany and wherever you call him he might be so Jan Eric Frank this is a big pleasure thank you, thank you for for your time to having this short interview and he is with his very very best friend from the UK they are very best friend and it is the very very famous Chris Hyde Chris Hyde father of five kids his son 17 years old only Jack Hyde just did no, win Josh Hyde, Josh Hyde. Oh, Josh Hyde. I Definitely apologize Josh Hyde just did win the Gold Cup the Open the British Open in the UK unbelievable a career unbelievable father Chris yeah. Hyde we did meet the last time in St. Moritz where he did win of course the World Snow Polo Championship with Cartier yes, and we have the incredible pleasure that he is here the very first time I did understand yeah. Premier yeah. in Zult. Yes, you're welcome. So, yeah. so Chris, big pleasure having you here. Thank, Thank you. you. Tell us please um, your impression of this wonderful island well, being I'm here at the <laughs> great hard. teams. Once you get here, it took me a bit of time to get here. Um, uh, yeah, landed in Hamburg, five hours in a car, crossed the train, <laughs> got here. I, I didn't know what to expect, whether it was going to be like Monte Carlo or Central Pay or Barbados, but it's a bit of both. It's got everything. It's got beautiful beaches. We had a lovely meal at this beach house, um, courtesy of Jan. Was it Jan? Jan Schmidt. Yeah. Jan Schmidt, the sponsor. I mean, amazing host. Jan Schmidt, yeah, yeah he's from. Polo on, suit. So really, really thankful for him and his team. Um, but yeah, but you just you only have to look at what uh, Kiki Schneider's put on here, the organization. We're in the VIP tent here. The gin and tonics from Capri, absolutely stunning. Yeah. Yeah. Ginger Mare or whatever it's called. Yeah. Um, but you know, you just have to look at what they've put on here. It's for me, it's one of the, the nicest sort of eight goal tournaments I could, I've ever been to in the world, and um, I've been to quite a few. Yeah. This is um, a great honor, really, having you here as an empire um, yeah, team up, yeah. team up with Kiki Schneider, and we have some fantastic polo player here uh, from the Switzerland, from Brazil. Uh, we have young talents, which is very interesting, I think. No, the kids some from really good young talented players out there. There's uh, a mixture of young and old. Uh, pleasure of umpiring Thomas Winter, watching him play again. Yes, I've seen him play all his career, mm. and, uh, and and one of his uh, children playing. Exceptional for Polo at the moment, and I think Polo across the board, across Europe, and probably throughout the world, has uh, really come leaps and bounds in the last two, three years. Especially with COVID, that people have been dying to get back out there. So there's been a lot of practice, and it, it's you can see it when we get out to a tournament. I mean, the way that they are respectful to the umpire, and I think it works both ways. That the way the umpire, the players, and the way that they take that umpire, it's really brought the level of this tournament. Uh, rise up! It's, I mean, it's in the last two days. You must agree, Jan. Yeah, yep. the, the polo's been fantastic for, for an eight-goal level. <laughs> no, absolutely. I saw that, yeah, Yanni. I can only, can, I can only uh, concur. We've seen some, uh, some, I know some great polo, but we've also seen some very close matches, which once again is a reflection of how uh, how uh, well this uh, this tournament is run. Of course, and I can only uh, endorse exactly what Chris is saying. And of course, Tommy Winter, who's out there today, scoring two great goals. Uh, and of We're only mentioning him because he's actually sat just yeah, there. Yeah. He's giving us a bit of a nudge, but he did play really well today. Yeah, His team's in the final. I will uh, quickly have him here. Tommy, Tommy give us a wave. wave. Give us a little wave. Little wave. Here we go. Great pleasure. You played so well. Thank you. I will come over later. Something to look forward to. <laughs> So yeah, no, Tommy did really well, and of course Tommy is responsible with his now, I don't know how many years, but for many, many years, running his successful polo school, Win Polo School, 
and a lot of the, uh, you were just talking about the young and upcoming stars all coming through the ranks of uh, Tommy Winter, so great to see him still very much active, coaching and of course playing. I think what I, from my perspective, from the marketing point of view for polo and pushing the sport, I believe and what I see, the young generation, like they're super active in social media, well, in TikTok and wherever, it's really pushing the sport. Yeah. It's getting more popular yep. and more brands then are coming and, and are more interested. So I think it's incredibly interesting to push the young generation for the sport. I think, right? I think it's, um, it's quite evident when you turn up here on Wednesday, the first day, the opening day of Polo midweek, normally not very busy in any tournament in anywhere but it was absolutely packed out yeah. so that, that just goes to show with the modernization social media the young kids blasting it everywhere it's very accessible it's not expensive to come and watch it so if anyone wants to come and watch polo it's not one of those scary sports just for the rich and powerful it's uh, it's for everyone and uh, i think it was quite evident today it was a fantastic crowd and you had a great uh, bit of uh, repertoire yeah, with, yeah. Uh, with the with the with the spectators so that was really good to see Fantastic. Yanni, tell me a little bit more of your career, which is absolutely impressive. So you are in um, tournaments in the UK, in uh, UAE, and like everywhere across the world. Um, which is like um, what's the most interesting for you currently to commentate? Which kind of tournaments? Um, and in the future, where, where do you want to be in the future? Like next year, you want to discover new places, uh, push new countries also, or uh, you're very traditional and you're, yeah, I mean, you're, your calendar is very busy actually. <laughs> you don't have a free minute, I guess. No, no, but I, I latch on to what Chris was saying, you know, I mean, coming to Zilt, and I come here twice a year, we come here uh, for, the, uh, for the beach polo, which is normally always at the beginning of the season, that's always a lot of fun. Um, but, uh, you know, every, every tournament has it, or every venue has its own special something which you, you can't replicate, um, so it would be very difficult to say, you know, where I, 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 uh, I have a preference. I love going to San Moritz, it's always great being with Reto and his team, of course, Reto, the godfather of snow polo, and um, we did quite a bit of work with him also in Azerbaijan, the up-and-coming European Championship, so that is always a highlight, you know, I, can, I don't think, like Chris, of course, having won it seven times, I don't think you can ever get bored of going uh, to San Moritz. Kitzbühel, of course, also another snow polo tournament. Uh, but then yeah, you go as far as um, Wellington, Florida for the World Polo League, you know, where you, as you said earlier, you see some of the best players in the world. You know, for me, um, it's a bit like Forrest Gump's in with a box of chocolates. You know, you never know what you're going to get. So I like <laughs> yeah. the element of surprise. Yeah, that's good. That's fantastic. All right, Chris, thank you so much for Welcome. this interview, for your time. All the best pleasure. for your family, for all your kids and their career. Thank you. Yanni, thank you so much and hope to see you soon everywhere, you both. Thank you so much from Nani Global TV Polo. Thank, thank you. you.